The beauty for me of landscape, I mean my work is about landscape. Being in, in a part of the country where daily I'm looking at, you know, the Beartooth Mountains, uh, rivers, streams that I fish in, uh, areas that I hunt. Is it a magic place? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I grew up yeah. in Kansas yeah. Yeah. and uh, I grew up on an 80 acre farm just outside mm -hmm. of Wichita, Kansas. Okay. Would come home when I was a teenager and had a German short hair pointer. Mm -hmm. And I would go uh, chase pheasants and yeah. quail and walk through rows and rows of milo and rows and rows of corn. Mm -hmm. And just something about that repetition, you know, the repetition of making the form, repetition of carving, all of those things become, you know, an important part of my process. When I fly on an airplane, they have to clean the window off. When I'm, <laughs> you know, a, a lot of my sketches are actually drawn yeah. on airsick bags. I throw all the small pieces on the wheel and these are, are two part pieces, they're put together. Mm -hmm. I get them to the leather hard stage and then freeform carve into the, the forms. I have a couple of, of them that are very geometric so I petition those out and then carve into them with a single loop tool. These are, these are wood fired. We have a train kiln out at the mm -hmm. studio mm -hmm. and uh, we do about a 52 to 56 hour firing. It's the closest thing that I can find that uh, relates to erosion, freezing, thawing. I mean, the fire coming through, the ash landing, mm -hmm. things dripping and running in the kiln. It, it's a lot about those things in the environment that I look at that affect the surfaces that I see in nature. <laughs>